שלום, my name is Nisim Lazari. Uh, it's very difficult to start this program, this show about basically my experience of uh, Yom Kippur War. This week is a 40, day, 40 years of uh, of the being in the war. And what happened to a young man, young boy, I would say, to barely 20 years old. Then when the war starting, and what happened from my side or my experience, it's only my perspective. And this is my great feeling about what happened in the war. I born in Israel in Tel Aviv. No Tel Aviv. I know a few people familiar with Tel Aviv, with Israel and, in, and Tel Aviv especially. No Tel Aviv is considered that a snobbish and high society environment. I grew up with a, in a unique family. We were the only Sephardic family there in those days. And this uh, and in very, very high society neighborhood that basically to our, oh, most of our neighbors were barely one kid and a dog. And Sephardi is basically, <laughs> it's, it was like, um, I would say using the, the bad words of blacks or something this. But anyway, I grew up in this society, I grew up and uh, I wasn't so easy boy also. I was very, you know, this is the, the I would say that the, the 60s and seven, beginning of the 70s. Woodstocks, Love and Peace Movement, all the uh, hippies, and the influence of all the, the, the rock, rock and roll, pop stars, Beatles, Crimson Kings, uh, Pink Floyd, all this kind of uh, environment, basic environment that was all over the world. I think that basically after, uh, in Vietnam War, that started in Vietnam, Korea and Vietnam War, the uh, post uh, say, uh, Cold War in Korea, and then become Vietnam, and everybody in America starting the peace movement, and the, the young people didn't want to join the army. And I, I was one of um, boys, people that uh, that saw the world as like love and peace, and we can do uh, peace with all the, all the people as long as we are considering them. You know, <laughs> it's funny that how, how things happen. You know, how things change during the years. But this is like I, I will do my conclusion later. But. Uh, and then I, I found myself uh, joined the, the I would say the Navy Navy School for Electronics, and I learned over the electronics. I joined the army. I'll make it very short because there are many many steps in between. And I joined the army in 1971, November 1971, and I, I joined to the uh, to the Navy, Marine Navy. And I had the basic training, and they put me on, I would say, in a base. Beginning it was in the north, and then later in the south, Sharm el Sheikh. I joined a unit that basically called Palgat Namal, as a unit that uh, guarding and Running the show around, you know, that's this, this, the, the, I would say, Sharm el Sheikh and South Sinai. A very, you know, uh, the, the area is unbelievable, beautiful, gorgeous area. Uh, if somebody knows the Sharm el Sheikh area, beautiful beaches, beautiful uh, uh, marine life that you're diving over there and you can find yourself amazing with. 
beautiful colors, kind of fishes, kind of uh, creatures uh, under the water. Um, uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you cannot describe this, uh, you know, the feeling that when I used to take, I finish a shift, I used to finish a shift, night shift, take a sailboat, take a, a snorkel, and go to, to one of the bays over there. And yeah. it, it, it's an unbelievable feeling, especially as a, as a young man that just explores li explore life, uh, being active. I myself didn't want, to, in the beginning, I didn't want to join the army. I said, you know what, we can pay, make peace and leave me alone. But because in Israel it's mandatory, and my brother was in the army, so I, I had, you know, everybody, everybody go to the army, join the army. So, when I joined the Navy, I became slowly, you know, I become, uh, I was very good in my profession, let's put this, I was, uh, I wasn't easy soldier, but uh, I, because I, I had a very high skill in, in my profession, so yeah. They, they, they used to choose me every time on a, on a kind of missions and all this stuff. I used to do a lot of crazy stuff in my uh, duty. I, I jump uh, with two years in, in, in a beautiful, gorgeous area that basically the, the atmosphere in Israel. And I, I, in the atmosphere in Israel uh, after six day war, was that we are invisible, we are, nobody can beat us. We are the super human in the, in, the, in the globe, and nobody, nobody can touch the Israeli army. We, as a soldier, and I'm, I, and I tell you that soldier, we, we did so many things in the, the enemy areas, and we felt like, uh, it's no nobody can touch us. We, we felt like like uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to say the impression, but like cats, you know. People. Uh, the 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 war. Come to us, in a situation that, we were seven hundred soldiers from po from Port Said, up to Shar al It's like, what is like. 400 kilometers, something like this, that 700 soldiers, and we were sure that, uh, that uh, you know, with a small finger we will stop the, the, the uh, you know, the enemy and like, nobody can, die, you know, do to us harm. I remember that, uh, I remember clearly that uh, like a month before the, the, the war started was a kind of, uh, Tackle in the nose with 13 mix that uh, the Israeli Air Force knocked them down, and it was really something that the Israelis started up. And then we have like the, the, another another incident in the Suez Canal with with a uh, boat, uh, a De Castro boat, Russian Russian boat that uh, used to be at the ambush over there. There was knocking uh, knocking also down over there. Many, many small incidents incident that uh, we create ourselves and to feel like we felt uh, like nobody, you know, we stole the radar from, from Egypt. <laughs> uh, we, we, we helicopter came to Egypt with, like, uh, with special forces and took the, the, the special radar that knew everybody was afraid about this radar. And they stole it from, and the, we, we in Israel we took it apart and discovered what the, the weakness of this radar. Uh, was another another uh, mission that uh, tanks of Israel crossed the the the, the, the Suez, and it wasn't uh, it was the Gulf of uh, uh, the Red. What the name of? I, 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 uh, the name is really not right now in my head, but cross over the uh, across from Ras and went with the tanks over there and destroyed quite a few um, bases in, in Egypt. So the really the the, uh, the feeling of each of us was that you know, uh, we are we are the best. We are the biggest. We are best. We can do whatever we want. Um, Yom Kippur 
was Shabbat, Friday, uh, Saturday. So Friday afternoon, the unit, I was serving in Sinai, and one one of uh, a control unit that was joined the Air Force, the Intelligence, and the Navy. And Friday afternoon, I know that one of the intelligence come to us and told us that the Egyptian and the Syrian basically uh, said said the code of you know they, they they used to do a training and they did a training before that like like in show that uh, it's nothing and then the, during the training they, they basically declare the code uh, moose it's banana it's a banana yes in Arabic that this is this the code that transfer the training to a real war and we, we you know we were so uh, peaceful oh, nobody can touch us nobody nothing Friday uh, Shabbat night Shabbat night we you know before Yom Kippur I tell you it's 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 a little bit you know it's, I mean, I'm ashamed to say it but this that was the lifestyle of soldier and army and I believe that still today till today we have, we have this in, in, in Israel that uh, yes young people are supposed to be celebrated and by fasting and supposed to be but in synagogues but many many uh, young men that sitting in the in, in the bases in the army and not religious that basically grow up anti-religious Feeling that this is the now is good uh, occasion to, to celebrate to make parties. So before Yom Kippur, we 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 started up collecting movie. You know, in those days we had the, the, the Super Eight, is it? And like uh, all the <laughs> old movie theater, uh, old movie films, and what we used to do that. <laughs> Every week that we used to get, you know, made the, the what do you call it, the the ktsin ktsin tarbut. It's uh, the, the officer that uh, basically entertainment officer. Uh, he, he used to give us movies. When he was in, in a very very far uh, location, he gave us movies, and we if we had a, a good action movies, we used to cut the, <laughs> the part of this movie. And what we did in the end of the like the year. We collect a very big role of all the best acting, uh, action movies, you know. And that's what was uh, our entertainment uh, for Yom Kippur night. Besides this, we decided there wasn't enough food in our places, so we took our emergency car vehicle and we went down from the big mountain went to the base and basically we, we took, I don't want to say, we stole from the kitchen over there uh, quite a few cases of steaks and chickens and we brought it back to the unit and we, we did uh, over there uh, barbecues Shabbat night, and we know that basically that the code already by the Egyptian and Syrian already that's in the real war. But again, he cannot describe this. You know, I went, I checked my soldier. I was I was over in commando on, on the on my my unit. I was the, the, the in charge of the the unit, and. I checked that the, my soldier, that everything is running, all the, the equipment and everything is run, and uh, I went to sleep. I think I, I remember at about 5 o'clock I got up and I went out to to the restroom, it was open and, and over there. And I look at the sky and I, I, I never forget it, I saw a huge falcon. basically gliding above us and standing and standing and I staring I stare at him and they stare, you know and look look and I couldn't figure what what is that I, I think today I don't know what what it is but it's a 
unbelievable vision or you know something to see a huge uh, a falcon or I think the right word is falcon or oak maybe oak the right term is oak no it's gliding above us and I, I, I you know looking at it, steering thing 10 15 minutes I couldn't take my eyes from it, you know, just such a gorgeous, beautiful look. And that's it, you know, I, just, I went back, I checked all my, so again, checked my soldier, come back, and then it was like, uh, the day ran quickly, two o'clock. Two o'clock we get the siren, and we just, just jump to each one to his location, and I look, I look over there, and what happened? The Air Force unit, the radar of the Air Force, discovered uh, was 12 aeroplanes, Sukhoi aeroplane, it's bombing, bombers, aeroplanes, that basically come from the direction of Tehran uh, Island, and Saudi Arabia, and basically come and start basically dropping bombs on the airport and after the airport and then in, 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 in the airport was two phantoms two of them was on on, on a I, I alert the pilot was inside inside the, the, the cockpit and basically in a, a situation of my unit our unit basically the air force unit we signaled them to fly to take off and they took off immediately and and God, nothing, nothing happened. You know, basically, what the bomb that they, they throw bombs that breaking the, the you know the uh, the landing um, road and they didn't they missed all of them basically they missed all of them and during run out from the airport they moved to the 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 the, the, the anti aircraft missiles the Ox base. And over there, they eat direct the oak the oak bases. I think three guys died over there. And then continue to our direction. And I'm standing up on the on the top of the of the mountain with basically an Uzi Uzi gun, machine gun, same machine gun. And I call. I said, "Oh, come here, come here, I'll knock you down. Come here, I'll knock you down." I, 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 you know, this is what the feeling that. That nobody can touch us, you know. That's a, 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 and and during this, I would say that's like seven, eight minutes of our oh, deal. And then the, the, the one phantom, I think it was Sergeant Gozi, was over there. He knocked eight of uh, uh, eight eight aeroplanes of the Sukhoi. He knocked them down, and then the other one ran away. And now we started listen, getting all the day. The communication lines just bombarding, you know. It's, 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 it, I, I hear this guy crying, to, uh, calling for help. This guy calling help. This uh, and then we got message from our from our commander. Uh, as was there for the morgue, said this is we are um, we are in, in a war position right now. Everybody in a war, and the, the forces of Syria and Egypt start attacking. You know, I'm telling you, I got a goosebump right now. The, we don't know. We, suddenly, we got the, the, the um, amount. You know, I, I don't know if we just digest. We couldn't. We couldn't digest it. You know the truth. That you know. Okay, we the war, war. You know, but uh, we we didn't. How much, we didn't know how much inten what intensity. You know, of this war. You know, we saw the war. That we saw the phantoms uh, uh, dropping eight eight aeroplanes of them, and. Oh, we uh, we hearing uh, from the other side on the uh, uh, Soviet channel, canal uh, all this kind of report that uh, I, I had a friend over there that we used to to work with you know uh, we, uh, because we used to work in a certain field of electronics devices so we had to turn uh, and uh, to uh, Abu Dhabi and the Meza over there was a, a special so special. Hmm, uh, Bank bunker that uh, control over there. 
So we we didn't and start hearing the, the the report coming, and another uh, our airplane starting falling, and this another airplane falling apart, and they keep coming and coming coming. I myself was iconic. I called down to the to the main base to the main base, and I spoke with my officer. I said, listen, please send me some kind of help. Some kind. Of, I need more people, more more ammunition, more guns. And they tell me, oh, listen, don't worry. Don't worry, you are in the best place. Nobody, they mistakenly bomb in a dialogue location instead of you, and don't worry. Oh, okay, uh, now the night come. Matsaki Pu come. And uh, we are basically studying getting the, the, pic the right pictures because we're getting the reports from all over, all over. And uh, this airplane fall down, this airplane, and if I correct, I think that in the first days, uh, about 80 hour airplanes fall down from this. You know, they used to shoot on, on each airplane like 10, 15 missiles, the same missile, you know, same 3, same 2, same 6, uh, whatever they used, you know, and you, you could be the best pilot in the world and you can use the, 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 the special gadget that, to try to move, but one of them will beat you down. So many pilots didn't want to go to on air because of this, and I, I, I don't blame them. You know, I know that I know the story about Zoro, who was the commander of uh, Machane David, a big uh, air, 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 air force base, and by the by by the the, the army laws, he couldn't fly, and he, he took his, the law by himself, and that's to give encouragement to the pilot that the pilot didn't want to go up. And he took an aeroplane in Syria, it was in Syria in the nose, and he himself uh, fell down into the and in a died, Hashem uh, the more. He was one of the best pilots in, in the Air Force. They were unbelievable pilots. So we we started getting up and I I, I, I pre start prepare uh, my, my soldiers to be uh, to to pass the night. Now we know that we all all around us, basically, soldiers, uh, our uh, enemy soldiers, and we. I prepare my, my. We had like kind of protection mm -hmm. around us, and the the guys from the air force was in a different uh, at the same mountain, but the, another officer was over there from the air force, and he put them in a different location. I insist to put my soldier in a different location because I I, I couldn't I would say that uh, in my judgment I, in those days it is, I said that it, it doesn't make sense to put them where the where, where the, the other officer there, there and I told him please take your, take care of your soldier don't tell me my what what to do with my soldier soldiers. We start, you know, and now 10 o'clock at night, you know, if we know it's Yom Kippur, it's Yud Betishrei, and Mutesh Kippur is Yud Aleph already, and this, the moon almost full. Uh, if somebody knows what is the desert look at night, it's, it's uh, again, it's, it's something that you cannot describe in words, what a beauty, what this glory night with all the, the moon, the moon, the, the, uh, the almost three, uh, more than three quarter full, the, the sky full of stars, gorgeous, gorgeous night, very romantic style, like, nights like this. And we see, uh, basically we discover in the radars, that two, let me get away, two aircrafts, quite slow movement come towards us from the uh, direction of uh, Atu, at about 200 uh, kilometers, uh, 120 miles, basically, and they come closer. We look at the with the binoculars, uh, and we saw two light that's coming close to us. Basically, we thought it's uh, either helicopters or something. We don't, we didn't know. We tried to call some aeroplanes to, to knock to, to to get, but we, uh, all the aeroplanes that uh, was uh, occupied on the nose. And uh, uh, 
in the in the Suez Canal and uh, um, in the in the in the Ramat Golan. So, and then they see coming closer, 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 and about I would say, uh, and I'm I, I'm standing outside and looking with four of them with the binoculars. My guys sitting inside following them with their radars, and about. A mile and a half, it disappeared. Disappeared from uh, you know, the eye. And then it's like another 20, 20 seconds or something like this. A, a big boom. Again, I, I, I describe it as a deep, big boom because I, I don't remember. I, I cannot rewind my memories on this split of seconds that I find myself almost barely, na barely uh, na almost naked because the boom was so hard and my clothing just tear apart, you know, and and everything started burning and I, I'm looking, I'm looking around I, 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 I hop uh, and uh, you know this that we got hit. You know we didn't know exactly what, what happened, but we got. I understood that we got hit. And I start looking at my uh, looking around me, collect my, my my soldiers. Our unit basically destroyed. And I look. I collect my my, uh, my soldiers, then the, the navy soldiers, and I, I I remember one of my guy my guys Avner come to me, he said, uh, look, look at my, what happened, what, I, I have something in my back, and I look in my back, and I saw basically his ribs, bare ribs, no meat, nothing, just flesh, you know, with the moonlight, the ribs was so white, and around it's nothing. That's just a fl meat, a flesh meat, nothing. You know everything. You get it. You get it like something that you know. That from the, I don't know exactly what happened. It was like from from the fire, and it was uh, the, the, the uh, we found in the end that it was as a missile. It called Kelt, and this is like it was loaded with naplam naplam material, and it was started burning. And basically, that uh, it's to call his back peace, you know, all them. And I told him, you know, no, no, nothing happened, nothing happened. Oh, it's, it's, it's more scratch because he was in shock status. Nothing happened. Uh, let's let's collect all, all the soldiers and collect all my soldiers and put them in uh, one place. Now the place is like this. Is like. A small, narrow top of the mountain. Uh, I would say, uh, in a feet about twenty feet wide in a, in the narrow place, and it's the, the, the distance like a uh, thousand feet, something like this between. You know, um, but we was on one side. Then the, uh, in the middle was uh, the generators, and we had like. Uh, about 3,000 gallons of uh, kerosene, uh, uh, yeah. Kerosene over there for the generators. And then after was the Air Force base, and then after it was the, the intelligence base. And I, I was the, the remote area, basically the, the, the last one. I collect all my, my soldiers, and now because the direct heat, the, the, the generators and the oil, the, the, the kerosene just burning up, burned up. Big, big fire. Now I'm, I have to cross this big fire to to the Air Force side and see how we, how we organize ourselves, you know. In the meantime, we had also, we, we didn't have, and we lost basically all the communication with the base, in the base, and later we found that the Air Force part had uh, like a walkie-talkie that connected to the, 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 to the uh, air tower 
the air control tower that this is was our communication. But uh, then then I start, you know, I, okay, let's let's move, let's move. I took my soldiers and you know I I, I would say that it's, it's again it's something that maybe sounds very very cruel, but you know as a soldier we did so many crazy many many stupid and crazy stuff. We used to get uh, you know we we have. Uh, Rats and mice and in the basis all the time, you know, in the, de the desert you always have this kind of animal that's running through the garbage. Uh, when you, and every base, yeah, when you have a, a human uh, garbage, so the, the animal come over there. So we used to catch them, and by the catching them, we used to take the uh, gasoline, put them there, and fire them and running, and they used to run and screamingly. And this moment, when I pushed the, this, my, my soldiers, this is exactly what I felt. You know, just, I, I'm running through the fire, and I see this, the, 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 the mice, the rats, that's running with fire, and, and this, I never forget this kind of uh, feeling that, you know, I, 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 am, I, am the, I am the rats, I am the fire rats, you know, right now. So we crossed the, I, I pushed them on the way, Across to this line of fire, and we can gather out together with the, with the, the Air Force uh, soldiers, and we had we had uh, unfortunately also girls over there, and together we stand up, and now we we start to communicate with the base. Now, uh, the, ba the the Air uh, Air Force uh, tower, you know, the, the air control tower. The Air Force, and then the Air Force Tower mm, mm, talk with the Air Force uh, b uh, base, and then base call to the uh, to the other uh, to the Marshal unit, and it was like like a, a broken phone system. It was this is was the feeling that nobody can touch us, and we wasn't prepared at all. And then we heard that the commander, the Egyptian commander, is going to climb on us uh, and trying to capture us. Basically, this was the, the, the scary moment for the, our officers down in the field, because that's what happened in the, in the, in the north, in the Hamon. The Hamon, we are again the same, more or less the same basis with the intelligence of the stuff. And they caught quite a few guys. One of, one of my friends was over there in the Hamon, and he was in the captures also. And he, after after the war, he told me what happened to him. It, it, it was Ahmad it's 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 a disaster. It, it, this human was toughest. And I know that uh, my my one of my friends, Tzvika Zuzel, was uh, in, in the the Mezach bunker, and he was by the Egyptian. He was he was get also very, but he was not not like not like the Syrians. So. We starting, you know, uh, see who is wounded, what is not wounded, and come coming to collect all the this pieces together. Now we add. Now, now, eventually the the, the, the uh, phantom come, and the phantom basically come and start shooting with his a Vulcan, a Vulcan uh, machine gun. Is something that can shoot six thousand bullets a minute. It's something that you cannot describe again. Uh, 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 the feeling, what when you hear it, uh, only when you have that. And we, we was, we were, uh, we have some few guns and stuff like this. And we sta we we took a location in between, you know, the the, the front of the ga uh, of the base. And we was uh, thought that we were to uh, to face the uh, the Egyptian commando. In the meantime, the air force come and. By giving him instruction, the Air Force start and shooting in between us and so-called the Egyptian commando, and they didn't want us to fall uh, captures. This was the, the and every time that the Phantom was coming and shoot, shoot at this is is I don't know how many bullets, but and he going up and it, then it's create a huge scream, use something that when it go up and then the, the machine gun is turning, it's making like a no, noise of screaming, again it's, and all of 
fuss. I don't see that every bit of people that was around me screamed. It, 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 it went instinctively, you know, that screamed together with this machine gun and this kind of noise. And, they, and you see this black, huge monster that the, the, the phantom is coming above us, shooting his and go up and again and again. And okay, then, then we. We find ourselves quiet in an area that uh, uh, vehicles and stuff come close to us. Then we have, we saw three tanks, basically T-55, the Russian tanks. These Russian tanks, uh, we captured it in a six-day war and converted to the Israeli tanks, but and during uh, one of the, the uh, missions that we did in Egypt, we used these tanks to go to Egypt, and we put like and loudspeakers and our uh, our voices that the people in and and the field, the Arabs will, will think that it is Arabs uh, tanks, and that's what exactly what we thought when they we saw now now the uh, tanks come close uh, to us with Hebrew language talking and we don't have any communication with them and they was very scared because you know you, 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 nobody it, it's a little bit stupid to send a tank to a to a mountain that every rock can, can be hiding for 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 a RPG or another another soldier to attack this kind of tanks you know but they I, Unfortunately, you know that uh, we didn't have nothing else. So that's, they sent this. The, the, the command of Marshal sent these tanks. So we thought this is Arab tanks in the beginning. Now, until we found that with the Air Force uh, tower, uh, t you know, the, the Air Force uh, 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 airport tower, uh, tower control, uh, and to the Air Force and the Air Force to the, the Marshal and the Marshal to the the, to the tanks were. Uh, uh, it was really, really big, big mess over there in the matter of communication. It reminded me what happened here in the, in, in the September 11 between the police and the fire department and all this for the for the authority. Everybody, nobody knows exactly what to do. And we are standing now under under the, the barrel of the tanks. Basically, the tanks killed another two guys from us, from our so our our units. Uh, the, the reserve, the reserve power um, people, and we standing under this barrel of the ta tanks, and we or, uh, we cannot move, you know, basically because every movement they shoot because they were very, very scared, very, very scared that the, the, the soldier and the tanks, and we <laughs> so I know that even if one one guy even found himself. Hiding in, 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 in inside the in this, uh, pit of the bathrooms for kind of scareness, you know. And then we starting we are, uh, we starting talking with the, again with the walkie-talkie uh, from the air force and all this stuff, and we screaming at the tanks. We are Jews. We are Jews. Shema Israel. Shema Yudim. And they couldn't listen to us because the tanks was running, you know, the, the engine running. And then we got to, uh, you know, they, they, we, we get out, we took our, um, our t-shirts, yeah, t-shirts, white t-shirts, and we waved it, like, uh, you know, that's what we agreement, that between Air Force until, and we get out. It's almost two o'clock at night now. We start looking for all, all the, f the people around us, where they are, what they are, and we found basically that we lost, I, I lost my five close friends from the Air Force, very, very close friends. Max, Max Barzilai, Yaakov Hefetz, Kobe Hefetz, Kobe Rosen, Leza Osman and Dawn and we again I, I, I 
I blame myself so so much because I, I, I didn't insist to put them, you know, to tell the, the Air Force commando to put them in a different location. It was it took me many years to, to take over to get over of this blame feeling that why I didn't push them to be like I I put with my soldier. Anyway, uh, I'm just uh, I'm I'm starting uh, you know collect all the, the information around us. We found that uh, he, uh, one of the soldiers just flew uh, flew out from the mountain. A few flew, but uh, one is still survived, hanging on his belt, about but about 50, 60 feet below the mountain, on a very sharp cliff, and he's hanging over there. Wounded, night time. Okay. Talk with him. We hold him, you know, that he won't sleep over there. And we we couldn't take him out, you know. Now it's night. You cannot open light because you're afraid of the commander around it. You cannot, you know, it, it's it's messy. I. I discovered that I did, I get bent a little bit. I, my ears was popping out from the, the you know, and we starting uh, trying to go down to take out the wounded, down to the to the to the medical uh, army unit. And I went to the, the the vehicle over there. It was the same vehicle that we basically took Friday night to, to steal the meat. Me and Max, and and you know, uh, and during the, the the Friday night, the the spring of of the the gas pedal broke down us. So we took a rope, a small rope, and. We tied it to the pedal, and I used to hold it up, and Max used to, to tell me, let it go, let it go, go up, down, you know, and, and that's how I would drive all the way to the, the, the main base over there, and that's why we come back. Now, I took the, the place of the driver, and I, and I couldn't take it. I couldn't do it. I know this. Like, I don't remember if I cried or almost collapsed. Look, and somebody else took it, and they took us to to the mesh unit. The mesh unit over there. They were, uh, was the, the doctor, Dr. Tal, I remember him. He was also in, in very big shock. He, he was so, so uh, the wounded, he, he knew us personally. Uh, each, each, uh, we, were, we were like a family over there. So, and in the meantime, they brought some uh, Arab soldiers also to the mesh. And it, uh, in the beginning, he didn't want to, to touch them. He didn't want to... to to treat them. And later he, 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 he treat them, but then then we started getting the again the pictures and see how many people coming wounded and this you listen to the new you listen to the, the, the communication in the, in the radios and yeah this 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 bunker has fall down. This bunker fall down the thing that you would never dream They took us to the Tel Shomer. Tel Shomer is in, the, in, in Israel already. The, the um, I would say the, the hospital. And I said, I, I, come, I, I don't need to go. I want to go back. I want to go back. So Avner and Mutsafi and not the Avner. Yeah, Avner, Avner. Yeah. 
they they still they, they they was they were very they were very very you know strong wounded you know they were very so they stood and I I took my stuff and basically I ran away from the hospital. I said because I live not far from Tel Shomer, so I, I decided to go to go to visit my 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 parents' house before I go back to the. So I I went to the I I you know and the, it was again. I did, Okay, you did whatever you want, you know. Just stop the car in the middle in the world. People take you to wherever, and then you see and make clothing. It was shadow down, you know. All the you know, my shirt was barely shirt, full of blood, sand, you know. And I come, I come home. Now I didn't know, I didn't know that what happened. One of my neighbors. It, a daughter was serving in uh, in the base uh, uh, next to us, you know, not far from us, and she saw all this kind of bomb, uh, all this big, you know, people telling us that it's a huge mushroom. When when we got hit, it was a big, huge mushroom above us, and then the uh, the, the, the the news, the commander took us apart and all this stuff, and she called immediately to her parents and said uh, she told that uh, I. I I passed away also. So nobody come to uh, my parents. Nobody come close to them. Everybody was afraid to tell them. And I came, I came home, don't talk at the door. And they see me. My brother come from England those days, you know, he come to visit Israel he, with nothing to do with the war. So I told him, listen, come, come, let's go, we have to go back. I took him to the airport, we go to the airport, below the airport, we took a flight back to my unit. And in the meantime we, we listened to the, the Moshe Dayan was secretary, uh, or what he called the defense minister, and Golda Meir. He said that this is the third point. He said, third, Choban Bayit Shlishi. I don't know, that it's the destruction of the third temple. Everyone was in a, in a panic situation. to the unit now and I want to go back to the, to the same location I said you know you don't have nothing to do over there right now with nothing to do with them uh, you, sub you you run away from the hospital you cannot stay here I, I said no I must stay and in the meantime we're sitting on the book uh, I mean, we're sitting over there in the main base and we heard this is what we had the siren of chemical attack Telling you, everybody went to run to the bunker, the bunkers over there, and in the middle of the bunker was gas masks, and everybody starts grabbing and it's like, like, and the people that close to the door couldn't get it, you know, that and starting to like, I, I couldn't take it. I went out, you know, and, and my my brother also, me and my brother took out, you know. And you scream and give me a mask, give me a mask. Baruch you Hashem, know. you know, eventually what happened that uh, this airplane went, continued further north and further north, and then ten, and nobody knows exactly what happened, why it didn't drop the, bad, the, 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 the chemical bombs. But Baruch Hashem, you know, and then, then he, he go back to his, uh, it was, I think, uh, Ataka, I don't remember exactly that the air force that he come back the Takia, I think. And he went back to there without dropping the bombs. But you get a feeling that 
you are you are you're nothing basically and people starting you know uh, was so so scary then I, I took I, my brother went to I, I, my brother couldn't uh, help over there so he went to another location and I took a, a, a ride to uh, Abu Des further north to the, to the direction of the Chen Canal and I said listen I'm going to, to do something over there I want to, I want to, I want to fight and right now in the perspective what happened to me it was a really it was, it was on total shock and I know maybe a, a kind of something to, to prove to, to, to my friends that died that it's nothing, you know, it's not, not for nothing. That we keep fighting. Come over there. It's already more than a, and a week already into the war. Starting getting, uh, and you see the light in the end, you know. And I, all, all the time, all the time, this, the, during this war, I, I was thinking to myself, our soldiers, you know, in Vietnam wars, or in uh, Second World War, the First World War, the, the long wars, how they survive? So, you know, such an intensity, such a long, long, and we are only weak, 10 days in the war, and we, we, we don't know what, what's going on, you know, just, it's crazy. How people can, can survive this? I, I crossed, we crossed the, the, the Gulf, went to Jabal Attaka over there. And then I, 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 I saw that the war, is, the war basically stopped. The, the, the uh, Alex Sharon basically uh, went across the cha channel, uh, the Qatar Suez, and basically surrounded the uh, the third army of the Egyptian and we were hundred than one kilometer from Cairo basically. We run I I saw uh, and I, I am I'm like a freelancer, you know, I just I, I'm don't I don't belong to nowhere and no uh, I'm doing what, whatever I, I thinking that uh, and this moment is right. And then I decided to go back to my unit and start it all over again. And I took back uh, a ride. I went up to the mountain without any asking any 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 officer to come to the unit and start building up. There was over there the reserve duty, the reserve soldiers, and uh, I had a very good knowledge about. It. And I, I, my commander told me, "Listen, you you have to go back. You, ca you cannot you cannot stay." I said, no, I'm not leaving you. If you if you take me from here, take me to the jail. I'm not going. I'm not going to live here. And I st I stayed there. I stayed there, and I rebuilt my unit, fully operational. And I just uh, took. You know, I, I built even I, I even I built a, a, a new uh, I would say club or a soldier club. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see the pictures, it's, it's amazing, it's a beautiful sight, gorgeous. You, you, the view is unbelievable. You see the, all the Gulf of Aqaba and the, the islands and Shadwan. Uh, we built it over there. And then we're waiting, you know, it's a ceasefire. Ceasefire. I'm, I'm insist to stay over there in the, in the, in the unit. And by, by me, um, I think it was very smart. And now, uh, in, in retroactive or um, perspective, back, you know, to look, I think it was the really right decision for me because I saw my friends from the Air Force and, and the intelligence that they didn't go back. And it's took them many years to get over the, f the, 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 the fright, the, f the, the fear, and the scary. And we had, the, I remember a girl that used, used to film for many years, look at the sky. 
because every every star, every shooting star was reminded a, a, a missile. So I'm standing over there, and and I brought quite a few guys from uh, uh, and, you know the old old unit back to the to the unit with with the the reserve uh, duty soldiers. And one day I was uh, alert. And we're looking, looking again, and my soldier called me and said, look, another missile. So we already was trained what to do. We, we, we shut the machine, the, 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 shut all the, the equipment, and work in different. But for me, it was the, the, the test, or, or the really something that I, I could say that I recover myself only because I operational I operate like like a, like a robot. I did exactly what we have to do. And the uh, and another guy, Yaakov, he couldn't move. He was frozen. He, he was frozen. He just froze down, you know. And then I gave him a big big slap in the face. Move. And thanks God, it, it was only a testing rocket that they, they sent it to, to, to calibrate the, the system over there. And we, we ran, you know. After, after the war, I came back to, to Tel Aviv, and then I saw my some friends, some people, you know, sitting in this and go. This is always the, 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 the uh, let's say that the Fifth Avenue of uh, of Tel Aviv, or I would say King's Highway of Brooklyn, all the, the restaurants, the, the, the bars, and people come and tell me, ha, uh, huh, you are uh, fire should go down, you know. It's, You, uh, in 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 a simple words, you are so stupid. What you go to the war? What it is? And they don't have. They didn't understand with that Israel almost was destroyed, and nothing could stop the the, the Egyptian. You know, when when I'm looking about when I, when I was over there on the mountain that during the same night when we get hit, the I would the major major concern was that. Now they have an open highway to go, and basically, no no radars, no electronic device to follow them, and no no nothing. So just they they had just to go and continue running to from from our place to a lot to go all the way and surround all the, the everything, and nobody could stop them. No, what what is it? Is it? It's amazing, it's amazing when, when you hear the people, the, the, the Egyptian soldier, that what they say, why they stop, why they stop, with nobody could stop them, you know, up to Refidim, they're already almost up to Refidim, and no, we're no soldier over there. Nobody, only today, I would say, many years, many years took me to, now I'm Baal I am, I see the miracles of the Kadosh Baruch Hu. I see, I see what what happened to us. If I, I always said, you know, coincidence. Maybe they was afraid, you know, all this, but nothing, nothing coincidence. The Kadosh Baruch Hu was running the show over them. He let us to show to see us that we are not no kochiv We couldn't do it ourselves. Nobody could stop them. Nobody. And what miracles after miracles. It's miracles that be, it's, it was on, on Yom Kippur, not in Rosh Hashanah. Because all the people in Rosh Hashanah are going to parks and go to the beaches. And Yom Kippur, at least people don't go. Not driving, and the, the, the street was, it's easy to collect the people, the soldiers from the, from the, from the synagogues. It's easy, the, the, the roads was open, no jams, no traffic jams. Imagine yourself, what happened if in Sukkot? Or, that all the traffic jams, nobody could move soldier, nobody, nothing. Call it, find the soldier in, 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 in all this mess to go to fight. And you're coming, you see that this, 
kind of miracles that you know you see the I, I, I heard about a conversation uh, in an intelligence report of the officer of uh, in, in Syria that he said I couldn't see, I couldn't continue I saw end from sky stopping me this is Arab soldier said you know you hear about Koch Tzvika a one tank that destroyed hundreds of Syrian tanks and nobody could touch him basically uh, looking at this you know my, my personal point of view of this war and I really I really discover over there it took me it took me years to discover that how the Kadosh how the Kadosh who is running this world and how, how to give us the vision, you know, so many, so many, so many of my friends, till today, don't see it as as a miracle. You know, it's, we were the Egyptian was afraid and all that stuff, and I see it so clear that that I'm standing here right now. It's a miracle by itself, and that what what happened to me all along, every single moment, miracles after miracles. I'm running, you know, I'm just. And you can you have to be blind, man, to see that if a Kadosh Baruch Hu don't put his finger and you you don't have nothing, nothing, you know, just nothing. And no, I, if we don't see the Ashgachat of the, the 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 iron dome on Israel or the, the Anan, the pillar, the light pillar around Israel, about the old every Jew. Every Jew and is wherever wherever is he. The the Ashgachat it's 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 it, it, we are blind. We are blind. I'm telling you, it took me many many years, and I'm, I, I, my story of returning to Shuvah is it's a different a different different issue, a different different I, I would say different program about it. That I, I come back to Shuvah because of my my children. I didn't even thought about it. I, after the war, I started looking around, looking around. Uh, I, I, I was in the Guru Maharaji, I was in the, in, in the Christianity, I was in, in a, I lived in a, very, a Muslim village. I, 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 I wander around, looking, you know, traveling in Europe, come back, my father passed away, I, 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 my, and then my mother passed away, I go, I go to university, and we want. I wanted to be denied that Hakadosh Baruch Hu running my life. I want. I. I. I, I, want, I didn't want to accept it. I wanted. I did No. What is this? I'm a good guy. Why are you doing it to me? Why are you doing it to me? And, and what happened to me? Every time is. I think. That, uh, and suddenly, the, uh, 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 nobody. Nobody brainwashed me. I wasn't in a seminar. I wasn't even in classes in, uh, of Torah. I st I, and my kids started coming home. They wanted to keep Shabbat. I, I, I didn't know how to eat it. I didn't know how to, to digest it. You know, that well, what happened? What, you crazy? Shabbat is there. You know, for me, it's a resting, watch TV, looking the best programs. And you want to close the TV? What is this? And slowly, slowly, I, I, I found that I, 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 I'm, I'm 45 years old and I don't know nothing about my religious. Even I study and, and so called. I, 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 I didn't know nothing about my God. I didn't know about you know, my my relationship with Him. And then the, all, everything is come back and, and you, you, you're going and watching what a what kind of miracles, what every single miracles. Every single stuff, a call it over, everything is for our benefits. What do you think we thought, we thought that is worth, uh, that happened to us, this is the, the, the right things, this is the best things that happen to us. You know, I look at my family now, I'm telling you loud and clear, if I was continue, if I, if I, 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 were, I was continue my lifestyle and uh, what, or, what, what kind of people that was running, I wouldn't be married today, I wouldn't have seven kids, Baruch Hashem, that learning Torah, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding what, what is HaKadosh Baruch Hu is all about. Well, I wouldn't. My wife, she coming from background of anti, total anti-religious, and she's she's stronger than me, 
she, 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 you know, understand better than me. My kids, my, my, my children are learning in a top yeshiva, Baruch Hashem, learning, learn, I'm telling you, learning, sitting uh, 16, uh, 16 hours a day learning Torah. I, 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 and I, 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 until today, it's, it's difficult to, to understand, you know, what kind, what happened, you know, and you find, you know, find yourself that you come involved and, and find the good about, you know, you find that, you find that the Kadosh Baruch Hu is our father. He want our benefits. He want, he want our, our, our good. And it is exactly the same like when you see your, your child running to the, to the street full of cars, you grab him, you grab him back and you give him a patch on, uh, on his behind and say, enough, look where you're going. And this is for me, this is for me what my, my lesson from this, all this uh, 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 war, you know, I lost, I lost a very, you know, I lost a very, very dear friends over there. I lost, I, 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 and I would say that many years took me to, to, to come down from this, all this vision and all to see what, what, what we saw over there. It's not easy. It's not easy to erase memory and to come and start building yourself. And I don't want to erase the memory. I don't want it. I want to build a new perspective, a new glasses to, to watch it and see where we're adding and be, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if I can be a, a kind of model, of, but it, it's not a matter of, it's a matter that people can see where are we going, where are we going today with this, our society and this kind of nonsense that so surrounded us, you know, with all this the, the divorce rate going up, the kids dropping kids outside, and it's not only in a Jewish society, it's all over. But in Jewish society, we thought it will be uh, immune of this. And we see that it's not. It's not. It is our Yom Kippur war. It's a daily, it's not a, a, a two weeks Yom Kippur war. It's basically every day now. Every day of, uh, of fighting and coming back, coming back close, bring the Hadush Baruch closer to you and run away from, from this kind of Gashmut or that other spirit. Uh, 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 physical uh, uh, temptation. I, I'm telling you, I, 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 I don't know if it's if it's if if it's right to say uh, here in in this kind of. Uh, I, I was one of the hunters. I was one of the people that go. Uh, I, 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 I was barman. I was working in a bar. I, I did so many crazy, crazy stuff. I, I, if you, you see my my picture, I, I graduated at a university that considered the, the mo, one of the leftists, Art and Design Academy, you know, uh, Betzalel, it's well known in, 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 with all the, the parties that are going around it and all this kind of lifestyle. And you don't have nothing. Basically, you pull yourself to the, the animal, an, animal lifestyle. You. You, you, you desire, you want, you will just fulfill your desire. You want to eat, you want to eat. You go to go to go, you go, you go to, you want a girl, you want to take a girl. You want, uh, 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 you want to, to, to smoke uh, uh, drugs, you smoke drugs. You, uh, it's nothing that you can stop. You, you become, you become your own goddess, you know, in a certain way. I lived in a, in a society that basically naked. Naked from clothing, and no shame, nothing. And I, I, I always saw that it's cool. It's nothing. I feel nature. I feel good, and I, I don't have nothing to be ashamed, ashamed about it. You know. And when you discover that we we belong to to, to the really to the the nation, it's a royal family. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. We I, I cannot do it anymore. You know. I, I have a beard and pair out here. Why? Why? I, I, I you know, I, 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 oh, you know, believe me, it's not, it's not so easy, and it's not. Uh, but one of one of the main reasons that I have this, I have one my my private Kabbalah. But the main main reason I would say is that I remember myself as a student in Yerushalayim, walking in. My university was next to Mea Shalim. 
used to walk every morning and every night time back and forth to the station, to the bus station, with a girlfriend, with her, you know, and I look at these creatures, the black and white, uh, with the penguins, cowboys, nicknames, all this, uh, with a beard and pearls. And I said to myself, what the primitives, I am the man of the world. I am learning university. I know about this and that they don't know nothing. Today, I look at the mirror and say that you are this man. You are this people that you love for them. You know why? Because today I know this people knows million times, ten million times, better, knows better than me knowledge. My son that is learning the university and, and, and in Shiva, he knows better, much, 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 much. And I cannot say how much more than me. And when he died, he didn't graduate university. He didn't have the degree. He didn't have, you know, uh, math and, 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 uh, and environment and, and industrial design degree and all this kind of nonsense, you know. He knows much of this knowledge of the Gemara, of our sage. So huge, so big. And we left to walk of, of, of our Yom Kippur war every single moment, every single moment. And Bezad Hashem, who is helping us? In the minute you want, you want them, them to come close to him, is open. And you see, sometimes it's not difficult, it's not, it's not so easy. Sometimes it's not so easy because yet the devil is playing a big game here. And we see it so many, so clear. You know, I, I know the mashal, the, the story about a millionaire that had a big a bank account, and one day he decided to move to another bank account. The bank manager and all the people come, no, don't do it, I'll give you a better benefit, I give you ear interest, I give you this. This is exactly what happened to us. The Yetzirah, when he see, when he see us, that wanted to move to another, to be better, Better location to come closer to Kadosh Baruch Hu is fighting with is 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 a war is war is bring all this ammunition all this kind of temptation and and uh, and we know the sage said that I call it Gadol Mechaberol that you're so good it's so good all up that you the bigger you are you have more and more yet because otherwise it's not fair game not fair game for for our situation uh, only few people like like uh, uh, a uh, did, uh, uh, did uh, uh, some uh, effort, you know, they did, did like six years in a row, so, uh, fasting and fasting and become like free from me. It's uh, and uh, many many people, other other chachamim and kedushim, uh, that uh, uh, as as the knowledge and the, but we have to follow this. We have to follow the Torah. We have to follow the, our our chachamim. We cannot come and say, I know, I know better than you, I know this. Makhlukot, get out from this, let's go, let's, you know. There's no such a thing, Ashkenaz, Sephardic, Litvish, Hasidish, Moroccan, Persian, whatever you call it, there's no such thing, we are, we are four of a kind. We all one, we all one, we have to understand, this is our Yom Kippur, we have to fight, fight, fight and continue. Don't leave, don't leave the, 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 the battle to the Yitzhara. Otherwise, you, you said, I, I'm raising my hand, I'm, I'm finished. Keep running, keep running, look for the, for the good causes, good help, uh, help other people. I'm telling you, I'm, sit, I'm, 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 I'm sitting here, and it's, it's, I would say, quite a few years that I'm de uh, we're dealing, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, we're dealing with with this uh, kind of uh, organization, bringing, uh, you know, helping other Jews, uh, it's, it's starting for with the Bet Knesset, the, the Nostan Shul, and uh, Shaddat Or, with Rabbi Moshe Mayor, and we spread Torah, we spread nobody, nobody forced nobody to listen to the Torah, nobody forced nobody to, uh, we don't have any magic to put you in a coma and put you uh, a, 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 like other courts that do you, uh, intensive seminar that you, you don't barely sleep and you get a brainwash. No, I don't see I don't see it. I don't see it. Not Rabbi Yisrochi, divine information, or Torah uh, anytime. All the big, nobody forced them to do this. 
And we give, I, I think that we, give, I, we come with the boot and J, J boot. J, I, you can see and you can hear, you can feel that it's, it's, not, it's not something that we are just doing it for, for fun and to make profit because nobody, nobody make profit here from this, especially in J-Root. And we try to survive, we try to give a different perspective and a lifestyle on Derech Yadut Or Chaim. And this year, they're coming to us. Tiesh, what do Tivane Shuv, Ir David, Tavshin Aindale, Tivane Shuv, Ir David, when he's scheduled to Beit HaMikdash this year, Be'ezad Hashem, Kol Am Yisrael, Kol Am Yisrael, Kadosh Baruch Hu Yitain Lamut Koach, Lamut Babak, Batsarot, Aktanot Shalom. If we compare ourselves to other nations, <laughs> we are the best. We are really the best. You cannot compare. You cannot compare. And you can see that every Jew has his part in the Chalik but come, grab it, do something, take upon yourself small, small, small stuff, help other Jew, give a smile to one, don't be eight, you know, take go to yourself and say, I am Mekabel Mitzvat Seshel Ve'avtar Ira'cha Kamocha, even he, he is not deserve it, even it cheat you, even it, he, he went out of you, it is a way to, to trick you. Our chova, our obligation is to come and love our, our fellow Jew, love our children, give them the attention. I know that it's tough, very tough to come, and we have the panasa war, and the all other obligation. Please, I know, I know that people, so many people around us, Look in the bright side. Look at the cup that you have. Not even the full, but you have a cup. Some people don't have an even cup. Try to fill it up. And I know that when you do, you put a drop, Kadosh Baruch Hu put ten. You put two drops, a couple of hundred. And I'm telling you, this, this, the, it's not a linear line. It's abnormal. When Kadosh Baruch Hu decides to open his line, it's plenty. Nothing can stop. And Bezal Hashem, again, to all our listeners, to all our viewers, Shana Tova Mbuachet, Gmar Khatima Tova, and this question about both Nimut, Tudah, 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 Tudah.